Yo. How are you all doing? Welcome to the stream. So, today we're going to be playing some more Metroid Prime, continuing our run through the campaign. I, like I said uh, previous week, don't know if we're going to do the whole campaign, but I'm having fun playing it, so we're going to continue it today. Um, so, uh, just to give a bit of housekeeping before we get started. So, between streams, uh, between the last week and this week, it didn't really matter. Um, what I have done is I've gone, uh, well last night I went through and um, some of the areas we've already visited and I've got most of, if not all, the upgrades we can at this point. So just like some more missile upgrades and energy tanks, just to sort of um, save spending time collecting those because I'm kind of, I'm erring towards on the side of getting all the items, but um, I do not know if that will be the case. Uh, anyway, so we're going to carry on with, our, with um, the game now. Um, so I think the plan for today, sorry, I sort of moving away from the mic, which is really unprofessional. Uh, so the plan for today is uh, we are going to be delving deeper into the Vendrana Drifts. Uh, maybe we'll um, go into the Space Pirate Base. Maybe we will. Um, fight some monsters, maybe we'll um, explore a down space frigger. Who knows? I don't know how far we're going to get, but I'm looking forward to playing some more. Right, so, scan data's come in, basically telling us where to go, so we've got to head over to the Chapel of the Elders. Um, but before we do that, a thing I want to do is, if I remember which exit is. Um, so at the end of the last stream we kind of took a bit of a detour to the Chozo artifact temple. And yeah, you know, we kind of took one look at it and was like, we're like, uh, we'll come back here later. I think I want to... It's not here, this isn't the right door. Um, yeah, it's that one up there. Um, because I want to start that quest off because there's a good chance we will be doing that throughout the stream, throughout the game. So, and the stream, obviously. Um, so I want to kind of get the ball rolling on that now. So we're not spending so much time at like, the end of the game sort of working on that quest and doing loads of backtracking to solve that. Did we... Yeah, we did read this. Cool. Music here is really nice. This is a Chozo artifact. Collect it and scan the totems here for clues on the location of the remaining artifacts. Together, the artifacts will open a path to the center of the impact crater. Chozo artifact acquired. This is the artifact of truth, the first of twelve. Scan the totems here for clues on the location of the remaining artifacts. Together, the artifacts will open a path to the center of the impact crater. The artifact of truth has been returned. Translating tru Chozo ruins and totem surface. The heat of magma was a test for many warriors. A shrine in their honor holds the artifact of shrine. A sun chamber, high atop our ruined home, became the, most, became the nest of a great beast and a source of corruption. Many Chozo spirits have been drawn to this tainted place. Release their bond through the world to reclaim the artifact of wild. There is a tower within the ruins where light always shines. 
move through the waters there to find the artifact of life giver. Invaders have claimed Fendrana is their own. A tower sits atop their fortress. Collapse it to reveal the chamber where the artifact of Elder is held. In one of Talon's far corners, a grove of life lies. Reveal the pillar, reveal the pillar below beneath the waves to find the artifact of Chosa. Within the ruins of our home, we honour our fallen elders in the Great Hall. The chamber of the Heath statue holds the artifact of world. The tall cave stands at Fendrana's edge. Seek the unseen entrance at the top to find the artifact of spirit. I have already uh, made a log of basically where the locations are. Um, already, so I have it noted. But yeah, so we've got to hunt all those down to get to the final area of the game, so it's easier if we kind of try and do that as we go along. Anyway, back to Fendrana. Um, so I guess, well, a lot of people consider it as a floor of this game, although I don't know if I consider it flawed because you're always sort of discovering new things as you carry on. Um, actually, we probably go up here. Um, might work better. Uh, is the lack of fast travelling between areas. Like, you have to traverse and um, traverse back and forth. And it can sometimes be quite long-winded out when you the North Pole. Good camera work, guys. Yeah, so we need to just head forward. I mean, I think the lack of fast travel, I think it can be annoying. I get the frustration. But I always find that when you're going back for areas, you kind of discover new things because you have upgrades and um, new abilities every time. You sort of have to go back into an area, so it kind of encourages you to sort of explore stuff that you didn't, you weren't able to do before. My recollection is it's a lot more egregious in the Prime 2. Which I'm kind of hoping they're a master because I think that game has. Oh, and if they do, then they kind of take a look at it and go, okay, I think we can fix this because that game has. The game's a lot more flawed, I think. It has an ammo system, which I don't think is great. Um, it's really, really difficult. I don't know, I'm sure there's other things that people have really complained about. Those are two things that I remember not being so keen on. But I'd be interested to replay it, especially if it gets remastered, because it... I remember the remember it looking a lot better than Metro Prime when it originally came out. And if, like, this looks good, I, I'm really interested to see what that would look like. Oops, wrong thing. I think we're going the wrong way. No, it's cool. Yeah, it's got this, um... Prime 2 has this, the final section, final area they visit. It's got this kind of really cool... It's not... It's not cyberpunk, but it's kind of... Definitely sort of Blade Runner inspired. So I remember really liking. 
with the exception of the part where the, uh, the it's all really difficult. Can you get past without the flames going off? Yeah, cool. So there was an energy tank in this area that we uh, picked up. That I picked up last night. So it would have been a very, it was a very frustrating experience because you have to rely on multiple jumping and multiple multiple jumping. And multiple multiple jumping isn't um, isn't that fun. So we can finally, now we have the double jump, explore more of this icy wastelands. So we kind of need to go up to this section here, which should be fairly easy at this point. But So, I think we can switch the missiles because I. My default thing there is just the charge beam, but the charge beam will attract the bomb boost, so. So, we want to do that. It's actually depicting a Chozo balancing the plane of existence on his hands. Ah. There you go. Sure, defeating the baby she got will not come back to bite us at all. Ice Parasite, scavenger with a crystalline outer shell. Parasites are hardy creatures and able to adapt to any environment within three generations. The Ice Parasite is a prime example. Ah, see what they did there? Because it's prime, because Metroid. Anyway, having adjusted to a frigid climate, this vermin now thrives in it. Omnivorous, it exists in her areas hostile to most, most life forms. Very kind of defeated missiles. A lot of enemies are kind of power beam um, resilience. I think we just got icebergs. This area is so cool. I think we can destroy this. Bust of a Chozo Architect. Statue is flawless. It's a statue expecting a bust of a Chozo Philosopher. The statue is flawless. This is a statue expecting a bust of a Chozo Warrior. The statue is flawless. 
So that must mean... This is actually depicting a bust of a chosen shaman. Several stress structures, several stress structures can be seen running along the surface of the brimstone object. Well, it's been a brimstone, and it can be missiled. Such as hands seem frozen, seem to be frozen in place. Well, there's nothing we can do about that. Statue is painting the bust of a Choso Shaman adorns the store. Hmm. Hmm. But what if we coincidentally destroyed the bust of a Shaman? And there happened to be a switch within. Coincidence? So I think we need to destroy this totem pole. There's the wave, there's the wave beam. We have a new upgrade. And it's right there in front of us. Literally nothing can stop us grabbing it. What was that? Ah! Oh, snatched away at the very last second. Don't know how they managed to do that. I don't. See how this you got have the technology to. I mean, it's technically a Chozo test, but. Arabian now, right? Well, no. Never mind. Oh, jeez, look at the way it's just, it's just staring at us. A new creature has been downloaded to Morphology. She Goth. Supreme Predator of the Fendrana Drifts. Yeah, boy. She Goths are invulnerable to most, most beam weapons. The crystals on their back absorb energy, which they can fire at prey. She also have poor stamina. They hyperventilate after using their breath attack, making their mouth area vulnerable. The soft underbelly of a she goth is susceptible to successive blasts. In battle, they expel blasts of frigid gas to ensnare their targets. They are also found, fond of ramming and trampling their helpless perhaps prey. Stuff, but...
Nope, too close. Where else must be in weapons? Crystal back absorb energy which they can fire at prey. Lost time in that. Strength weights. Cast a blast, so. I don't remember this being a strategy. I just remember using missiles against it. I might have forgotten. Oh, I hope I don't die because I remembered that I did not uh, use the save station in Vendrana, so we would have to go all the way back from Talon. Why you always save? Hey. Yeah, so that's one of those uh, mini bosses that kind of becomes like regular enemies later on. Uh, unfortunately for us, but. When we get stronger weapons, it will be a well. It's a lot weaker anyway. In the future, but um, this weapon will open wave doors. Of course, I have no idea how to actually. Uh, so, in the original GameCube version, the reason why the um. The reason why there there wasn't a twin stick um, controls is because the C stick, aka the second control stick, um, changed bit changed to different beam types. Now, because we're using twin stick controls, I can't change to different beam type by tapping right on the um, control stick, and obviously the D pad does the scan visor. So I am intrigued as to how you change beams. to have a look as I may have just talked over and not read the uh, tutorial. <laughs> ah, okay, X and um, D-pad, cool. That's a little cumbersome, but I may forget that. you scratch that, I will forget that. It feels like a very easy thing that I'll be like, I'm in another battle, I'm like, oh, we use the wave beam, why is it not changing? Of course, now we have the wave beam, we can destroy these guys.
definitely gonna have to go definitely gonna have to go save. Oh great, you guys are here too. Brilliant. I'll deal with you in a minute. Can't destroy those with that. Okay, so I think if we head back into this route. I know a lot of these access turns look kind of the same. I'm pretty sure this is the way we need to go. Up, don't wake up there. Ah, never mind. Because I'm pretty sure there was a. Hmm. I am sure there was a wave beam door. Ah, okay. Right. That's fine, we can um, travel through here. Should probably be... Should probably be less, um, less fussed about taking damage. It is pretty cool that they have like, they have like, I don't want to say liquid nitrogen, but I think that might be, that might be the right term. Yeah, they have breath made of liquid nitrogen, that's pretty cool. Still gotta find a way up. It is kind of impressive how they managed to sort of pull off um, first person platform in this game. I feel like there wasn't something that I am sure there are examples of um, other games that had done platforming in first person before this. But it's a really hard thing to do and it does a really good job in it I think. For the most part, I mean you get like Yuji Rara or whatever. Wow. 
Sorry, I needed to get it because I, rec I forgot this. Cool, that's one of those. That's one of those creatures where the login is. Where logging it is. There's only like five in the game. And then they disappear after a certain point, so it's like a really limited time you have to get that. I mean, we're not going to get 100% because we're just really screwed up with. Um, I think there's. So the um, the hive totem that in Chosen Ruins we didn't get, and there's probably some war boss exclusive to that section. They can't later, so that was fun. And you're not even going to get 99, which is probably better because like then that would just be really frustrating to get 90% and then but whatever. Okay, so we're going to climb up this tower area. I think we should... Take out some of these enemies because they're just going to be a bit of a pain. No, it's not like we can even jump that far anyway. You have to use the boost ball to sort of generate some power. Get the water flowing. Did the music change? I think the music changed. Okay, I think we kind of have to screw this up. We can't get through here, can we? Yeah. Oh, it was right above us. Of course it was. Uh -oh. I'm not sure if we can double jump over there. That might be a bit too far. Squad that statue is worn and um, more weathered. Um, so I think we can't get through here until we need that we have the next upgrade. So I guess we're gonna go through the oh. detour through this side. Uh oh. Morphology. Space pirate. Pirate forces trained to equip trained and equipped with stealth operations. Yeah, these big real stealthy here. A select group of space pirates have access to sophisticated cloaking technology. This gear drains high levels of power. However, forcing them to rely solely on melee weapons and metal. Um use enhanced detection gear when fighting these units. Which is why 
to do if I had it. Yeah, so we've just, uh, I think we've just inadvertently walked into a space pirate base. Oops. Circuit breakers of a lab sub -person. friendly. Uh, maybe not. Huge bolt. Huge voltage. I don't love the uh, space counter the space space pirate encounter theme. It's probably one of the weakest music themes to me. It's, it's probably really makes something, something else. Force will accessible only through space pirate bio engine imaging. Impossible to breach. Oh, guess I'm not going through there then. I think we've already scanned the general map station, so that should be fine. Okay, so we've got to explore through here then. Maybe we'll get a lead on where Ridley is. I check to make sure that wasn't a different kind of turret. How do we get across? Uh, there's no way, there's no way we can deactivate this, is there? Uh, no way, looks like, looks like the space pirates have got me again. Access to research grab, Hydra, granted. Hey guys, I found a leak in the security system. Spoilers, the leak is made. Well, there's some war dumps here. Ice beetle infestation in the ice fault region has been 95% exterminated. Increased acidity levels is recorded in phase on anomic and anamiotic bath. There's likely a side effect of phase ingestion by test subjects. Space power, encry space power encrypted data decoded. Our initial tests exposing Talon 4's in indigenous parasites to phase on appears to be successful. Increases in strength, size, and aggressiveness are common in all test subjects, as well as unforeseen evolutions like additional poison sacs within the abdomen and the appearance of a second ring of mandibles in several subjects. Gross. These creatures were chosen because of their resilience, and it appears possible that, given enough exposure to phase on, they may one day be able to survive on any planet we transport them to. Our methods will have to be refined. 
We currently have a 100% extinction rate after the fourth infusion period, and the most and most survivors in the third infusion amazing stage are so violent and uncontrollable that they have to be euthanized. Even still, we remain hopeful that further exper ex experimentation will result in success. Good job, guys. I'm still confused about why they're actually doing this. Like, well, I guess it's so they can raid and take over planets. We have codified the newfound energy source as per phase on. Forgot the voice there for a second. A V, de v index mutagen, which we will have, have very little reliable data. Indications point to a meter of unknown origin, spelling and phasing into the environment. This material appears to possess the power to mutate organic life forms sufficiently to withstand its poison. These mutations appear promising, with abrupt evolutionary leaps we appearing in single generation pre-production. Uh, plans to f establish a full science team on Talon 4 are being finalised. Log 10.587.7 Mining operations have begun near the crater where Phaeson appears to be most concentrated. Daily low Phaeson yields have increased 44%. And our mining system becomes more streamlined as personnel and equipment, fl and equipment flows increase. Several inc incidents of fears and induced madness have been reported, prompting augmented life support regulations in the deeper chambers. Symptoms include loss of equilibrium, erratic aspiration, muscle spasms, and in the most extreme cases, hallucinations. A timeline reassessment for the refinery operation is recommended, as the material proves more unstable than initial analysis indicated. Do you know that CA is undergoing repatient of pipe? Uh oh. I don't know what that is. Log 10.712.1. Most terraforming and retrofitting of security checkpoints on Talon 4 is complete, but we continue to research over the alarming epidemic of breaches by local creatures. Door, rec door records show no unauthorized entries, so we must presume the creatures are either slipping in undetected during daily personnel moves or else finding their way in through subterranean tunnels. We have found many small breaches of this latter sort and plug them wherever we can. It is unlikely we will ever achieve, achieve full extermination within our current timetable. I'm guessing there's still enemies around because they're still playing the music. We're at the end of the battle. I do really like when um, you have an encounter section in an earlier game, and like the end of the encounter, at the end of the encounter, the music perfectly like accompanies um, the end of Like there's like a musical sting that perfectly fits in with the fits in with the music. Like Bioshock Infinite has a uh, really good one. When you finish a um, battle, you know the strings go dub 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 bum. That's really cool. That probably doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Whoa. Specimen 70, optimal absorption mutation has led to unexpected degeneration of internal organs. Log 10.664.2 Research outpost Glacier 1 in the Vendrana Drift region of Talon Falls Mountains is operating 85% capacity. Sub-zero temperatures have made the Metroid sluggish and easy to control, and even those well into phase and fusion cycles. Cold containment status in tanks are sufficient and for the juveniles, but some of the larger metroids have been moved to quarantine caves for safety purposes. Security doors remain an issue, it was malfunctions secure to, uh, as malfunctions due to ice occur every day. 
large prejudice in the way the rules were concerned, as they continued to kill, burst out, and breach secure areas. Unfortunately, it has become clear that our containment teams cannot be, can you, not neutralize all of them without a vast increase in munitions and soldiers. Ah, great, they brought Metroids here. <sighs> Good job, guys. Uh oh. It's that whole Jurassic Jeff Goldman Jurassic Park thing, isn't it? Scientists were too worried whether they could uh, they didn't think about whether they should. Oh, this is a cool ring. Yeah, so I think I mentioned on our stream, I think this game is set after the events of the first Metro game, so, like, the Space Pirates, I think plot-wise, because there's a whole, like, war thing about Metroids and stuff, um, funny that, in a game called, series called Metroid, um, where, like, Space Pirates harvesting Metroids, I can't remember exactly the plot of the first game, I mean, it's a NES game, so it's very the plot in it. But I know that Metroid, Prime, Metroid 2 is Samus kind of going back to Zevis and destroying the Metroids. And because um, the whole thing about Metroid, Super Metroid is that it's, there's only one Metroid left. Recording to the so kind of in that sort of in-between state. I don't know. I don't know how canon the um, these Prime games are to the main series. I think they kind of are, but I think um, Yoshio Sakamoto, who's the like the lead Metroid guy, is who doesn't really have much involvement with these. Um, I'm sure he's like a creative consultant or whatever. But um, so yeah, I don't know how canon these games are. Ten point four point four oh one point seven. Phasal mining is underway. Several garrisons have been established, and terraforming of the terraforming with the chosen ruins is underway. Security systems are operational, and the science team continues to make progress in their biotech research. Fendrana drifts have proven to be an optimal location for research headquarters, and soon will be joined by a fully operational com com combat base and starport. Command's predictions are half true, which shall rise to dominance in this sector within a de deca cycle. Truly, these are glorious times. That's all about power. Scans of the spiral sector detected a massive energy spike emanating from a wanderer class planet identified as Talon 4. Scout reconnaissance is immediately dispatched to the center of the spike, a land mass at heading mark 40.8.2, returning with planetary samples and atmospheric imaging. Analysis shows the energy source to be an unstable radioactive material of enormous potential. We are unable to form an accurate uh, are unable to form an accurate risk assessment at this time, but we are unlikely to find an energy source this powerful again. Analysis will continue. The current Talon 4 appears to be a viable secondary headquarters. Holographic sequence initialized. initialized. Actually, we can scan that. That's interesting. Send a multiple slot. This slot is active. Inserting the morph ball and detonating a bomb will usually cause these slots to send electrical impulses that can activate different types of devices. You've scanned 50% of the log bug. Wow. Gotta get the semi decent ending, right? Oh, 
they're playing that puzzle music. The kind of music that makes you, that's the musical equivalent of you going, hmm. Spinner device. The generator belt out of the spinner can be activated by rapid rotational force. Use the boostability of the morph ball inside the spinner to activate the device. Can't activate this one. Maybe we can. I thought there was a specific one that we had to like, use. Because it was zoomed in on one. Turns out it's all of them. I mean, that's a lot of effort to get the map up. Although it is a really cool map. Shiny upgrade. And we can scan some of these, which is neat because it adds the lore to the metro world. It's very, uh, gives me very Mass Effect vibes. Prayer or Mine 2. Mass. 2.3 trillion terratons. An unha uninhabitable wasteland savaged by nuclear dust storms and constant seismic upheavals. Planet Talon 4. Mass. 5.1 trillion terratons. Think that's big? I don't know. Profile. Our ecosystem studies indicate that Talon 4 was a biological paradise prior to the impact of an extraterrestrial object, but remains of the biosphere is slowly fading due to exposure to fears and radiation. At current rates, age of decay, Talon 4 will be a barren class S13 wasteland in approximately 25 years. Jeez, that is a really big um that's a really big impact. Look at that picture on the right. Planet Zebes. Oh, we've been there. Uh, 4.8 trillion territons. Planet's crust is pr primarily Earth at core, making it ideal for subterranean instruction. A class... Uh, I don't know what that... From numeral is... It's like... 19. It's 19. Idiot. I'm an idiot. A class 19 planet, Planet Zebes is hospitable to the most bizarre life forms. The world was considered unremarkable until it became the base for, for space pirate forces. Planet Twin Tabula, 4.1 trillion territons. Planet is best known for Twin Fever, a disease caused by a viral stain native to Twin Tabula. In the early stages of the disease, victims suffer from double vision. When the twin sight fades, the victim is near death. Oh, nice. It would be cool if one of these planets is like one of the ones we visit in um, Prime 4, or even if it's like, I wish they kind of stuck Maybe one of the planets from um, two or three on there. That would have been. That would have been an interesting, like, call forward. Profile Quarantine. Amter is rife with materials. A sentient gaseous global exterminator virus. Yeah, it's a bit like uh, three years ago then. I think we're done with planets. I hope we can we're never done with planets. Planets are all.
Super Missile Required This powerful beam attack uses 5 missiles. Using the power beam, press and hold ZR, A to charge, and then press R to fire. Right, so we're going to go this way to this dead end, if only for the fact that we need to save. Now we've got this upgrade. I wonder if there's anywhere... Is there any more energy tanks we can grab? Hmm. Never mind. The thing is, I logged and like made notes of where every um, item that required is. What I didn't do, and what I should have done, because <laughs> that would have been smart, but to be fair to me, it was like nearly midnight when I was doing this. Um, I didn't log uh, what items you need to get them because I thought, oh, you know what? It'll be fun to sort of do it as kind of like a puzzle. I mean, I'm sure we'll be fine with what we've got. I don't think we'll, I don't think we're in desperate need for energy tanks. If we can't even get any more anyway. Oh, God. Change weapon and then turns out. Surprise! Oh, you flying pirate. Okay, we're in the well, what we could do... We could try and use our new weapon. Yeah. Going straight to heck. Right. I think I guess you're probably supposed to use the super to be honest. We can grab though whilst I think it's this one. Maybe I'm wrong. Hang on. Because I have a suspicion. It's either this room or it's a room very much like it, where we can get our first artifact. And I think we need the... Yeah, we can do that here. We can probably do that now, actually. Just gotta figure out where it is. There should be a structure that we can blow up with the super missile.
might be up on the other side though. Ah, uh, okay, no, we can't do this yet. We need a, um, we need an item we get later, because the idea is we need to basically melt this ice, and then that, um, then we can shoot the tower, which knocks it down, which reveals a, um, artifact. Access to research lab, A5. Phase on stage, phase on infusion, stage 6, subject Metroid BR, BR5497. Subject's mass at 180% of previous phase on cycle, increasing dosage by 4%. Good job, guys. Make the Metroids more powerful, that's, that's gonna work for everyone. Energy-based para parasitic predator. The effects of phasing have turned these metroids, a species of the alpha predator native to SR388, into a unique subspecies found only on Talon 4. A Talon metroid will latch onto its prey and drain energy, growing larger as it does. The only way to shake and attach the Talon metroid is to enter morph ball mode and lay a bomb. I really notice them growing in size. See, they're not even containing them well enough. This is a terrible, terrible idea, guys. I'm not stressed how bad an idea it is. The reconstruction of Geoform 187, codename Ridley, was recently completed. After defeat on Zebus, Command ordered a number of metagenic improvements for him. Although aggressive, we were able to implement these changes in the cycle. The metamorphosis was painful, but quite successful in the end. Early tests indicate a drastic increase in strength, mobility, and offensive capability. Cybernetic modules and armor plating have been added as well. We believe our creation, now called Meta Ridley, will become the mainstay of our security force, a job he will certainly relish. I kind of like that Ridley is sort of like a leader of the space pirates. Someone who kind of doesn't, also doesn't really talk. I don't quite know how he orders them. Moves them around. That's uh. Maybe he just doesn't talk to Samus. Maybe that's it. Objective: In the event of a Metro attack, repel creature with missile set to maximum crushing. Confidence is high regarding Phazon applications. We know enough about Phazon now to begin combining with, combining with space pirate DNA. The code name for this venture will be Project Helix. Preliminary studies indicate that Phazon island infusion could produce radical, radical new pirate genomes. Benevolent mutation levels are high in current test subjects. Phazon madness is a concern, but refinements in the infusion process should reduce un or neutralize the odds of mental degeneration. We've had the shot.
Okay, is there anything else worth in here grabbing? Metroid Dissection continues to provide more questions than answers. Our research teams have isolated the energy conduits that run from the invasive twin mandibles to the energy core in the creature's quadruped nucleus, but the manner in which a Metroid actually extracts the life force from its prey remains an utter mystery. The victim does not lose blood or any other vital fluids, and yet the Metroid extracts energy, identifying this energy as our central problem. It takes no physical form, and yet without it, the victim dies. We will continue to research this matter, as the isolation of this life-giving essence could be the key to our ascendance. Quarantine specimen exhibits highly aggressive behaviour. East quarantine cave has been secured. The specimen remains in the quarantine area. All experience is pending classification. Studies of metro biology continue, although with limited progress. It seems likely that we will be much more successful using the Metroids for our means, rather than trying to reproduce their powers. If they could be adequately tamed, uh, good luck, we would have no need of proper understanding of the metabolism. Small force of disciplined Metroids could wipe out entire armies. And once you find a way to shield them from cold containment weapons, ah, uh, ah, uh, good, good, good use of uh, telling us their weaknesses, they will be invincible. Furthermore, if we could harvest the energy they've consumed, we would have a near, limit, near limitless source of power at our disposal. There's an energy tank in there. I want it. Let me in. Let me in. I'm going to assume it's either. I was going to say it's going to either be a missile or a super missile, and I was hedging towards super missile, but that worked out. Down we go. Morphology, Ice Beetle. Blurry insect with an isoform carapace, averse to heat. This member of the beetle family has adapted to life in the sub zero temperature in the Fendrana Drifts, growing a thick ice shell over its entire body. The ice is extremely resilient, providing the ice beetle with extra protection and augmented digging abilities. Basically, just means it takes more just to take out. Kinda. What do you, Space Pirate? Sentient aggressor species, well trained weapon in melee combat. Space Pirates wield galvanic accelerator cannons and forearm mounted scythes in combat. This. this this means they a, a kind of intend to become the dominant force in the galaxy, and the technology may help them real may help them realise their goal. Ruthless and amoral, pirates care little for the cost of their ambition. Only the results matter, and they take these very seriously. Oh yeah, no, I've read the diary. I did not mean to do that. I should be firing missiles in a contained area. This is very dangerous and I'm sure you have health and safety codes preventing this. Okay. Right, so I want to stock up on supplies because I have a good feeling I know what's going to happen in a minute.
question is it's going to be quite tough. So... Those match rates are just just chilling there. Who's eerily calm? I just want to check where our last save point was. Okay, so it wasn't too far back if we have to... I'm just thinking... whether I want to go back and just save. So we've got all like the lore dump stuff and we don't have to rescan that if we die because like I said, I mean it might end up being fine in this section being easy to get through but my recollection is that that's not the case so I kind of want to just, just let a little bit of security and I'll tweak your security. on the bike stand. I need to like to keep hydrated better in the stream because doing that space pirate voice is really killing my um killing my throat. I kind of um kind of had a weird throat thing the past couple of days. And it's been weird because like a bunch of people I know have kind of got COVID again. So I've been testing and I'm still negative on that, but this is a feeling of maybe it's gonna start something. Maybe it's just this coincidence I'm doing it for I've got a cold coming on, which would be annoying because it feels like I just got over one. But also, like, it's not like I'm a trained voice actor, I don't have, and not, I don't keep my throat in good shape for the idea of doing, oh, I've got to do, got to do hours of voice, I don't go into throat, oh, I've got to do hours of voice over work, and, uh, better prepare. The 
Though I feel like if I keep doing this for like years and over, I eventually have to go. Oh yeah, I kind of actually need to do that. We can take care of it. Respond. Yep. Oh well. Quick, where's the exit? Really cumbersome to change beams. the final bit, but oh, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. This unit supplies power to the containment force we have at the bottom of the room. So then they turn out the lights. And you have to run and go, oh that's weird. I did not remember there being so much like blur. Uh, sort of like the kind of ghosting effect. On this in the original game conversion. Maybe because it was very low res that we don't kind of He's just run off, it's fine. Ah, oh, oh, he's back.
Patriots are getting loose. Yes, we can just super missile them. But of course, because super missiles use five missiles altogether, it's not the ideal solution. This wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I remember this being a lot tougher in the original, but maybe I just didn't destroy all the turrets and stuff beforehand. Or I forgot you could destroy them with super missiles. Anyway, so the main reason we have the thermal visor is because it shows off heat and, um, well, yeah, hence the name, um, which allows you to see things that you couldn't normally see that are visible. So, like these things, which hand in hand with the wave beam allows you to add power to set, add power to various areas. Sentry drone. We're allowed an element of security mecha. Sentry drones have limited intelligence, but do their assigned tasks well. The aim machines are susceptible, susceptible to electrical attacks. When alerted, drones initiate a security lockdown and they attempt to neutralize the intruder. Their electronic warfare, the electronic warfare suite can scramble via technology as well. So we should probably stick to the wave beam and... was only doing to that one research lab. I think it covers the entire, yeah, it's like the entire facility is now. They're darkened. And hopefully those Metroids won't get out. What the what? Or a missile upgrade. Where did he go? Oh, he's right in front of me. See, there's a missile upgrade on that gangplank there. Let's see if we can. Oh, this is going to be really difficult with the lights off, but we're going to try. Looks very really, like very strong.
better for this section. Stick around. I gotta get out of here. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go save. I'm gonna save wood. Missiles. Nope, I wanted to. It's going to be a really huge pain having to switch between visors and missile and different waves. I can do that because I'm thinking about it, but it's really tough to sort of just do that about do it instinctively. I think we missed the jump. Entrance. So we're gonna get yeah, whatever. Oh no. Oh no, we're going back. We're not going go in the right direction at all. Oh boy. They all, everything looks the same with these thermal visors. And the enemies are all respawned as well, because of course they have. I'm just going to have to use the super missiles because it's just... 
think the uh, this lab section is probably one of my least favorite parts of the game. It's all fairly like pretty samey and. Later, that I think is it will be a slog, but I think it'll be a bit more interesting because it's a late game and a lot of game and a lot If I recall correctly, but. It's like we're in that research lab or something. I don't think the wave beam is as powerful just in general as the power beam. I kind of... So I played this, this was like the first Metroid game I ever played. Um, because... My first console was the N64, and if I'd played the SNES, I probably would have played Super Metroid. But um, having played that since, which, you know, Super Metroid, quite big. One of the best games of all time. Um, but that game does really well, and I kind of wish this game did, to some extent, um, is it stacks the beam upgrades. So. So like your wave beam gets added to your power beam and just makes it more powerful. And then the fusion beam gets added to that and Whereas here it's like the power beam is the most powerful weapon basically up until you get like the plasma beam and then you get the wave beam which isn't powerful but does different things and but they're separate and so you have to swap between them. I don't know, I think I just prefer it. I think I really just prefer it if it just if they just had stacking power ups. Oh hey, we could make that jump. Yeah, the point I was going to make, and I keep doing it every time. <laughs> Do this every time, it's like, I'm, oh yeah, I think, and then I just... Then it happens. Um, but I'm about to say, it just happens. Um, yeah, so... I was about to say, I believe there's a save point there. There is a save point. And we got it, and we're done, and we're moving on. Um, so now we have the Thermalizer. I think this is the next section we need to go to. We can... That's a lot of effort. Activate this door. Then we've got our big uh, Dendrana Drifts boss coming up. Which will be exciting and quite tough, hopefully. Then we're going to be done with Indrana for a bit, I think, once this is sort of all solved. G 
Gee, I wonder what. I wonder if we're going to get an item that allow us to go go up those rails. Floating rocks. It's like they they the tiles from Nova. This isn't Breath of the Wild. God, I really play Breath of the Wild. I'm so excited to see them. Seems to roll. Um, Morphology. Fathers. An animated sentient creature of stone charged with phase and radiation. Phase and radiation given off by Fathers negates auto targeting systems, preventing lock on. Maples would require alternative targets for a different visor. The chaotic nature of phase and radiation. Is instability in its structure and temperature. Fathers can encase targets in ice, and its colossal size and strength makes it a formidable, formidable opponent. Yeah, so we kind of. need to aim for the glowy bit. This is quite a tough boss because I think the rolling can be quite up and it's really hard to move out the way when he's running towards you sometimes. Um, charge fast enough. It's a lot easier to move out of the way of him if you're able to target him, but because because of the way the feeds on work, basically you can't auto target. No weak spots. Still can't see him.
frozen. I couldn't tell the way out. some uh some more missiles maybe that'll do Sounds like basically three super missiles left, which is not ideal. There's some crates around the arena over there. without um, just charge beam then. Unless... It's us please. You threw that rock. <laughs> if I decide to add, add it, I want to add like a comedy like frying pan and bonk. And Sam is getting hit by the air um, that rock there. That'd be very funny. I won't because I don't have time. No, we for like. Or I, I'll do it, and I'll put the left, and then I just probably release the log. Anyway, now we've got the spider ball upgrade, we can do this. So let's get out of here. Spider ball, spider ball. That's whatever a spider ball does. Oh, 
There is a spider. I don't know if I've, I've must have managed to observe me stream Spider Man like a year ago. But I don't like that Spider Man theme for Alex 61, and I kind of find it. I mean, it's fine, but I kind of find it a little bit annoying when it shows up in every Spider Man film. It's kind of like. It's like it, I feel like it just doesn't they need to do it, and they, they just. It's obviously just an Easter egg, and it's supposed to be just like fun. But it's like, and it's, I think it's fun in the Raimi films a bit, and they have like kind of variations set, but when it gets to like the, the MCU ones and you have the Spider-Man theme playing, it's like his ringtone, it's just like, huh, okay, right, we're doing that, cool. It's a bit like, especially with those, and the Andrew Garfield films, where the tones are completely different, it kind of feels a little bit like shoving the, uh, the 60s Batman and theme somewhere in this moment. It just wouldn't work. It just yeah, okay. It's a minor, minor nitpick. To be honest, it's not like that's annoying. Um, it's not like I'm going to hate the film or just find it unwatchable or just even hate that if it's in there too much. It's just like uh, doing that again. Cool. It's something to do it with the um with the X Men and the MCU, which is uh which I kind of find endearing at the moment, but could get really excruciating. It's very uh, it, it's full fan servicey. It depends on your sort of level of fandom. Yeah. 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 Let's go save and let's get out of Indrana. I think we can go to the next area now. Um, I... I haven't logged off despite getting the spider. All the film advisor are actually on my checklist. Let's go do that quickly. Um, also, hang on. Lab. I'm also taking off missile upgrades and energy tanks. So where did we get that missile when we had to do that on the catwalk? It was somewhere. It might have been Efa. Yeah. Because we've got the multiple. Um These different parasites. Wasting time fighting this guy, so we'll just get out of here. Yeah, so. 
So what we need to do... I kind of don't want to go to the save room, but I'm going to do it anyway just for the sake of... Because you never know if we like die when we get... As we go for the next section. Then, um... We're saving at like the closest point to whatever that is. Each time. Um... I don't actually know what the next section is. It's probably more Talon Overworld, maybe going back to the ruins. I know what we're aiming for and where we go after that, but I don't remember the exact, the bit in between. But I know the we have to go back to Marvel Caverns because there's a spider ball path that we can take now, and I think that's that's the path we need to take. And I think we're going to try and get the ice beam. Um, oh yeah, spoilers! I was kind of actually trying to avoid. So this game is twenty years old. Who cares? Um, yeah, I think we're going to try and get the ice beam at the very least. So now that we've raided their base and they know we're here, despite the space pirates are going to be all over us the rest of the game. Um, so, yeah, we need to get to this Twin Bears Town, which should just be ahead of us. Um, I wonder if we can get to that door above. See, we've got this, like, blue door that kind of doesn't really... Might be able to actually. Let's take out these guys. The suspension bridge is functional, but lacks power. I think we can fix that. So we've got it's just an act of that, yeah, which is great. Show us the artifact. Show us the artifact. This is the sec this is the artifact of strength, second twelve. That is we are in yeah, it's a warrior shrine one. Cool. God, I hope those enemies haven't respawned. They probably have.
them off to get through. Let's hope we can double jump, but that's not the case. Right, let's buy the ball onwards. Missiles in this magma, but I genuinely to try and jump that, I don't know why that failed. See, I got a feeling it's in there. Or a pillar like that. get that many opportunities to use like environmental um environmental hazards against enemies. Why is this just use environmental elements? True light damage. That's new. Oh forgy, puddle sport. Set to get floating lava masks protected by an impenetrable shell. A puddle spot opens when approached, attempting to intimidate with its size. When opened, direct fire to its mantle uh, direct fire to its mantle causes it to flip into a defensive position. If it can be if it can slam shut, it ejects a spread of harmful energy goo globules. Globules. And now it is a platform. Similar to the beetle, though it spends more time underground. It emits heat seismic disturbances, then surfaces to attack. If it, when it, has, it has enough cunning to realise when something is too large for it to handle. Beyond that, it is fairly ignorant. Where it lacks in brains, it makes, for, makes up with, for, with aggression.
Ah, oh, there's too many enemies. Can just do this with them both? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I think the um I think the flying pirates are probably my least favorite and one of my least favorite enemies in the game, because they are very irritating to me. They come in high numbers as well. Um, there is a puzzle down here that will lead to a power up. And I'm wondering if we can do that now. I see the energy tank. Let's be mine. Okay, so we need power conduits, that's fine. We can. We can work with that. Playing the puzzle music again. should give us the energy tank. This is a workstation. Okay. Cool. Desium and Debbie Rocking Bath. Well, clearly not that one then. Charge yourself, granted. Oh, so we aren't done with Ventrana then. Okay. Maybe there's another lab somewhere that we need to infiltrate.
Hmm. Well, I wonder if we can get up here. <laughs> All right. Never mind. One step forward and all that. Wait, but we were just here. What? what? other place that uses used spider balls prominently and that had well I say prominently that I spotted spider ball um, area on where to go area that opened up I mean sorry I'm not speaking correctly um, was in the ruins in the um, sun chamber area there will be Fort Flagra, like here. So we could head back in that direction. Because we've also got these areas that I don't know we can get to. But it might be worth heading back there. I'm trying to think what the quickest way of doing that is. Take the elevator in that room. Because I think it's easier to get Shoji Ruins through Magmor than it is to go back through Vendrana. Not least because I think we'll have to go through the space, we'd have to go through the, the pirate base again, which I don't really want to do. Climate analysis complete. Where are the tentacles that the ruins are? Ah, perfect. Here's where we needed to go, so we need to head towards the furnace. Okay, cool. I 
was... I had this big worry that we were gonna get to, um... But it turns out there's gonna be a way to get to Chosen Rose from Drama that's like actually in the direction we were go going to be going. We kept on going through that area that we just went in from. So thankfully no. So we do have to take the long way around. But Oh that took a that was a lot more damage than I was intending to take. So we can circumnavigate that way. Probably take about the same amount of time to get direct, because you can go directly to Chozo from Magma, but this is probably actually probably about the same. Can you look at So what's the quickest path to get to the furnace from here? Ah, turns out there isn't one. Um, but basically go right. Cool. Those beetles different. I think the colour variation was slightly different. Probably wrong. Oh, actually, also, I believe it is a super missile upgrade we can get that's in one of these trees. I think. be a case of thinking maybe we're actually a different item. Um maybe it's even this room. Yeah it's probably a different room. As well, cool. Now the water's all healed.
今日のじゃあね It's fine. We can try that again. Call that to the workbook. It's really weird because the guide like I used for logging the um, missile and edge tank upgrade, log it. Log the energy tanks and the missiles a different way. So, like the energy tanks, I think are logged by um, sort of the order you're recommended to get them. So by upgrades and um, etc. Whereas the missile tanks are just location. Again, I forgot to uh, log what upgrades you needed because I thought it'd be more fun, which was a terrible idea. Um, so it means I've just got this whole little list of just says Chozo Ruins main area, Chozo Ruins, etc, etc. Um, we're in the Grim Fountain, aren't we? Um, sorry, I need to check which is the right route. Yeah, that blue arrow that we haven't uh, gone through yet, we can't go through there yet because we need... Well, we've got the Vario suit, which means we can do the... Um, we can survive the heat in there, but we haven't got the... Um, haven't got the grapple beam, which we need to actually get across lava. Oh, look at that moisture. Okay, so we need to take the path upwards. Cool. I'm hoping it's just going to be as simple as there being a door that we can now access because we didn't have access to before. Like, that maybe. I don't know. That might help. Oh no, magical disappearing blocks. Parasites. Play to Parasite. How do you remember the Parasite family? Invulnerable to most weaponry. Cousin to the Parasite, these creatures are known for their amazing resilience. They also suggest a weakness to multiple delivered weapon systems. So, bombs? Ooh, you're wrong. What is this otherworldly pestilence that infests the land, seeking out life and its blind need for corruption? Where did the meteor that brought it originate? Was it crafted by alien hands? Or is it a roving chunk of a planet that suffered a violent end? 
Our minds quail in horror at the thought that long ago, in some corner of the universe is yet unseen by our eyes, an entire planet was perhaps once coated with this great poison. Whatever the cataclysm may have erupted, that doomed place must indeed have been mighty indeed, and if other meteors from it have spread through space, bearing this evil to the far corners of the universe. We hold fast to the hope that this is not so, that the only surviving remnants of this evil are here, on Talon 4. Then, at least, there is hope for its eradication. Okay, so Ben does here, and we can't do anything with like that. I think we might be in the wrong room. Um, Take this lower path, where does that go? Okay, so that just takes us into this. something else this area. I guess we could go back into the um, furnace area with the thermal visor, see if that makes any odds. I don't think it will. itself doesn't have problems it sounds ominous but yeah, there's probably some more in here somewhere it's called that statue it's one weather
To the entrusted one, if you read these words, then our hope has not been in vain. Your path is fraught with danger and monstrosities beyond description. Sorry, it's made of danger. Monstrosities beyond description lurk in the shadows, starving, hunting for prey, searching to find ways to quench the poisonous urges that bloom in their brains. Some of these are shrewd, but if they are blinded, but they are blinded by their evil or designs, believing in the black promise of the great poison, they seek their, they seek to harness it for their own ends. It is these last that are the greatest danger. When you rid the universe of these creatures, you will be the true interested one. None know if our temple, the cradle, will provide powerful enough to contain in this evil forever. For now, it wraps around that abomination, cutting it off from the world above. However, we believe that the power of Cypher, which has been produced by linking the twelve artifacts, should be strong enough. The fate of this world is now left to the one who will collect act the, all the artifacts in the future. The time when the interested one uh, and knows is, appro is approaching. Many Chozo are gifted with a distant sight, and even more begin to learn it as our harmonization with the universe becomes more and more complete. We peer forward, seeing prophecy in the ripples of the water, hearing rumors of the coming days on the breath of the, breath of the wind, although we celebrate the, the distant sight. Many of these visions are dark, the worst of the prophecies, and the most common. Tales of the coming of the worm, born from parasites, nurtured in, poisoned, in a poisoned womb. The worm grows, devouring from within, until the world begins to rot. Not all prophecies come to pass, of course, but we cannot help but fear this dark portent. Jeez. I think I remember what that's referring to, but... Sorry if that uh, sneeze got caught. I'm like, um. Just want to check to see if. Because I have. I think that's going to be like a just an upgrade for the missile. Should we scan these? So I don't think that's going to be what we need to do right now. Hey guys, we just uh just um just hanging out here. Can I tag out two? No? Alright. Chose a ghost, spectral entity, bioelectric field invulnerable to natural energies. As these entities phase in and out of existence, the only way to track them accurately is with X-ray scanning. This partially phased nature makes them invulnerable to natural energy types such as ice, fire, and electricity. Their aggressive and erratic behavior is most likely due to the corrupting effects of phasing in the Tavern 4 environment. They appear to be drawn to Chozo religious sites, but they wreak havoc upon anything that dares enter the area. Doors have been unlocked. Yeah, but not particularly helpful. 
Well, I guess we're gonna uh, roll up into a ball and be hugged by this Jojo. Is that technically a hug if like a sentient being is kind of being held in their hands? Could that technically count as a hug? Because it's it is an embrace of some kind, right? These other two like might unlock, you know, energy tanks and missile upgrades and whatever. A new path has been opened. Oh, I need to get embraced by the chosen there again. Shutoff is holding, maintaining the water level at the reflecting pool of 95%. The way stairs. Hang up. Hang up. What's going on here? What's all this? Hang on. Hang on. I can hear something. I can hear something. Yep. Someone's here. I don't know where they are, but they're here. I know they're here. Probably have to go into the pool. Maybe not. So we need to drain the water, that I know. Maybe it's just a case of, yeah. I was overthinking it. I don't mind using bombs, I don't use bombs in this section. So we need to destroy those toads because otherwise we can't get up to the higher levels. I think these pillars are kind of making it so we can't get up to them anyway. Ice beam! Ice beam, ice beam, get your ice beam. Comes in three flavors strawberry, vanilla, and death. Quite cool, I quite like ice beam. 
Stone turret over there. Absolutely in face. Right, so now we've got that sorted. I think if we just go through here, yeah. I knew there was a save point right here. And I think that's going to be it for today. Um, so thank you for joining me for the stream today. I think there will be... Um, there won't be a stream tomorrow. I can definitely guarantee that. I know. I keep keep wanting... I keep thinking about doing streams on Sundays and then I never actually do them. Um, but there's not going to be a stream tomorrow. But there might be one during the week. Not promising anything, but I've kind of uh, got some time blocked out. We could possibly do some more Metroid, um, but who knows? Um, maybe I'll get COVID and be too sick. I have no idea. Anyway, thank you for joining me for this um, for today's stream. Uh, we uh, made quite a lot of progress actually. Um, I'm always surprised about how much we make and how much progress we we've been making these past two sessions. Like. Uh, Genuinely achieve more than I keep expecting we'll end up doing, which is great, um, and I'm looking forward to doing more uh, in the future. So stick around and subscribe if you want to see, no, subscribe to YouTube, follow, that's what they do on Twitch here, isn't it? Uh, you'd think I've been doing, wouldn't been doing this for two years, but there we go. Um, yeah, give us a follow on Twitch if you want to see when we go live and you can watch the rest of the, watch the rest of the series as it goes along. Anyway, I um, hope you have a good, uh, thanks for hanging out, and hope you have a good um, weekend and um, rest of the week if we don't see you till next time. Um, so, as always, uh, have a good one, and au revoir, baby!